Ciao world, I have found this couple of speakers, they are broken and I have fixed uh, they are from 70s, from Philips and what they have broken is the Twitter I have replaced the Twitter you, what you see here is a Twitter from I think it's a pioneer speaker and in order to f make it this Twitter fit this hole I have print this this adapter here you can find it also in the background here you see there that is the adapter and they also has a two, two order pass filter but I have simplified this to the first to a first order uh, filter with a simple caps here because uh, I don't like how the second order they have put here works and so what I've done is simplify the circuit and make it active they were passive uh, it was a pain to uh, to remove the back here because someone use I think glue I don't know what they use something elastic and what I've done is uh, I have removed the uh, back here I have this uh, uh, supply round and I have put this uh, single board here is a TPA 3118 with Bluetooth and what it has is, and then I also tr uh, take two cables out from the original jack input here and put those cables to this uh, to this uh, uh, switch here. This switch is for line mode or Bluetooth mode. Then this is the output for the other speaker and the supply um, the jack in and I have at first I have tried with another board let's take the other board I have here and this is the other board I have tried but this one make a little bit of noise uh, the Bluetooth chip here I think it was this one has this smaller chip here and to me it sounds better and uh, it have less noise and so it is this is the finished product in front looks like this one this is the front of the speaker and let's hear how does it sound so I have put the two speaker up there. I have a power cord with a switch here. Let's turn the speaker on. Um, the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. They tell me we are connected and let's try if it works. <laughs> We are half of the volume and they are loud. 